Yo, what's up? It's Nez. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. So, the last episode, we had a bunch of fields with Angus out in the woods, and we got chased by Little Joe. And also, we met some sort of eldritch being in our dreams that explained that we have some greater things in store for us. Wherever this story might go, we certainly aren't doing this alone. We have to do it with our friends. Today, we might actually have to go with either B or Greg. So let's wake up to decide who are we actually going to go with to figure out the next leads. Nothing to say, Mom? Hi, Mom. Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh honey, is that why you came home? We're not pregnant. No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You are a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else, mom? Sure. What do you want to talk about? You know, if you did have a baby. Okay. I'm out. Bye, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Jeez, mom. Don't be so excited about, gra about grandbabies. BB! Are we gonna go grave robbing? Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Like we don't want to talk about it with our mom? Nah. Okay. What are you up to today? Wandering around town? Whatever you want to do. So it seems like we can't anymore go through the other choices of grave robbing with B or going to the museum with Greg since we already found our lead with Little Joe. Hmm. I wonder what might have happened if we went with either two. Ah, choice games. Whatever you want to do. Wandering around town. Proximity. We're hanging out with B tonight. So what kind of party is this? We're going to another party? Are we gonna threaten more people? Um... A Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Yeah, she's intense. She hates us. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Anyway, this is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you, B, getting invited to parties. All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party for a 90 minute drive. Are we going way out into the woods for this? Is Lil Joe gonna show up and crash the party? Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of longest night play. There it is again with the longest night. It's something that's like regular here in Possum Springs. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kinda stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? What even was that play? I was new in town. And you seemed cool. Ah, B, you called us cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. Emphasis on were. What am I now? 
the you know fun it's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart I'm sorry I'm mostly kidding mostly you're not smart either I was valedictorian of our class like that means anything in the real world sorry Sorry. Are we gonna get on with the party? Let's go. Papa Tease. I'm kinda nervous about this. Stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into the traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. It's an antelope. Hey, Bee. Oh, weird! It's May! Hey, Jackie. You brought May! Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun! Come on in! It's a good one! Is there like dancing, dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May! Of course there's dancing! Cool. Okay. <laughs> Ah yes, parties. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. Alright. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Don't you think that's the best? Uh yeah. Carry a knife and learn how to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists! Ha! <laughs> hey! Hey, th Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So, where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be there. Bye, boys! Parties! Huh. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Shit. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can like anyone dance? Yeah. Modern parties, no one dances at them anymore. It's a total. It's a total shit show. Just people getting wasted and drunk. It was a lot better in the 70s when parties were actually about dancing. Where'd the music go? Oh, we're dancing. I like this song. It's so mellow and chill. Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Is that all the dancing we're gonna do? Fine. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. <laughs> I'm gonna keep dancing. Yes, May. Keep dancing. Ignore the boys. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. With an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, we know. No, seriously, if any. B, I'll be fine. 
Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Let's go back to dancing, May. May's really enjoying this. Must be her first time at the party. She needs to live a little. Is it dancing over? Dancing is easy! What's the big fuss? Hi there! Hey you! Hey! You? Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borowski. Samantha Stevenson. Samantha. I like it. It sounds like a magic spell. You found me out! It was magic! I know! Now you're good and hexed. Wow! So what's like your story, Samantha Stevenson? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires and I play bass. I'm a college dropout. A ghost is chasing me and I recently met God. Any one of these can actually be true. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. It's the sort of douchebag replies you get from anyone at a party hitting on you. I mean, it's just a regular bass guitar. Yep, vampire science. What does that entail? Fang measurement! Being up all night? Going to a lot of goth dork parties? It's why I'm here tonight. There aren't a lot of goth dorks here. I know, total bust. That's pretty cool. I guess. I guess I'm used to awesome stuff. That I'm pretty cool in most situations. Oh really? Hey, give me your hand. Oh, all right. Oh. What the shit? A pentagram just formed. Are we summoning the devil? <laughs> oh, wow. Secret handshake. Wow. That was some next level form of foreplay. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. Oh yeah, you should. Samantha. Haha, <laughs> hexed again. Boom. Haha, <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. That was so weird. Keep having a fun time, everyone. Was that handshake how people get pregnant? I have no idea. <laughs> hey B. Oh hey May, this is Chris. Hey Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Oh she's okay. <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you like. I like ghost stories. I used to be a big reader. My granddad died. <laughs> and left me an apple crate full. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. Smooth, May! <laughs> may, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. When I'm when my house exploded. How'd your house explode? Because there was a gas leak. From when my dad hit the line. Trying to dig up the dog we had before that. Because we were going to move. And dad said he had to come with us. Wow! So Chris, what are you majoring in? Policide. Oh, that's cool. 
Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. Huh. Political science. <laughs> I feel like I have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so I can get a job after. That's pretty interesting because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here. I'm gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just cause something's interesting. BB, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bag groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? I'm pretty sure you want to dance. Nah, I'm good. Sure. We should stay here and protect B from these douchebag guys. We should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. It's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. Hey Cody, let me tell you about Beatrice Santello. She's super on top of things, super smart and responsible, and you don't deserve her. Get the fuck away from our friend. She runs like a biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> me? No. What even is Possum Springs? It's west. In the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. Bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. Me! What? <laughs> I'm kinda over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from the Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, B here drove in from Deep Hollow! Are you not a student? Yeah! What? Yeah, I... I am! I'm... <laughs> I think we made a big mistake. Wait, B! B, wait! What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. B was pretending she was a college student. Shit! B, come back! Oh, shit, shit, shit. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch her teeth out. And who the fuck are you to say that about B? Are you like her replacement? Our replacement? When we left? Were you her new best friend? Okay, geez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay, God, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you weren't an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. You can get to the river quick on the roofs. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. 
You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. That's something entirely I would say for a friend. There's water running down that, we have to jump up here. Have to go find B! We're coming for you. We're in some strange city. And we will find you. We were such a shit friend. We shouldn't have meddled in that. We should have just went on back to dancing. We were having such a good time dancing. B, where are you? Come on, B. Don't be like that. B. There you are. Are you alright? Obviously, she's not. Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town? And you don't even know what? This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in the basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? This is so friggin' sad. <laughs> I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. You have a life! That is so... sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business. Because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids lives there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future. This big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up, 
from a dream about nights like the night. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. It's not fair. I had no idea about any of it, of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard! And I take care of what's left of my family! And my life is slipping away! And I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store! In that stupid town! I'm... Just... Doomed. You're not the only person stuck here. You know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that. A little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. Well, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. She has a point. Oh. Right. So why did you leave? I... Don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well that's illuminating. Oh shut up! All this shit about this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God! Charcoal. He was an asshole! Charcoal wasn't an asshole. The owl thing was. Uh-huh. Ah. Look, we're both trapped, but we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, sorry B, about like, it's okay, we're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the river turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So like... Actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't like stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, this is just what's the word? Serendipity? Proximity? Proximity. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to talk good. To whatever guy. You're obviously trying to get with. Oh good. Thanks. Me, you should have told me everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big as a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes. I know that. 
But you're genuinely good person. I'll take it. We'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello! We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? The super cute girl I met at the party. Oh, she was a girl. Okay. We did a secret handshake. Yeah, I think we got her pregnant that way. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? See, even B gets it. Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again. Home again. Hey, Dad. What's up? Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where it's all going. What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like... Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, and, and. Shh, kitten. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Malloy, Garbo, ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. <laughs> Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, my lord. Are you churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, this is the last time I was in church. They hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> you were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should all have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy. But it would be... A whopper. <laughs> this is a really shitty show. <laughs> but we're spending it watching with Dad. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Hi, Dad. Thanks for the talk. B? Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all over the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, me. That you did that. Ah, uh, it was nothing, B. 
We're gonna get the cops called on us, but yeah, we were pretty nice. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of a worse fate. Greg, what's up? Did you have a date with Angus? Hey, kid! Went to a party. Dance at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number, though. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Bye, Sharko. <laughs> off to dreamland we go. Seems like there were no dreams tonight. The first in many of nights we've had dreams, so it must have been a good night. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching this episode of Night in the Woods. My name is Nez. Like and subscribe so we could grow our channel together.